All right, guys. Let's take a look at uh, how we can roll back through history. All right. So let's say that we did something here uh, that I made. I made a like a airplane now. <laughs> Save that. Okay. Now back here, of course, that will be a new change here. Okay. Now if you regret doing that, right, you can actually go back by just saying right click and in discard changes. That alone will fix it. So now back go back here. If you reopen the map. Can see now how it's actually go back to before, right? Anything you haven't committed yet, you're able to uncommit it or unchange it by right click and restore. That's all there is. This also goes to a new file. So if you go for like a new blueprint class and just an actor there, right? And then you go here, you can see there's a new blueprint class, right? You can also right click and discard change. And now we'll just delete that blueprint class. You can see now it's gone, right? So that's that's how you roll back if you have done something you don't like to do. Now let's say that you did something uh, and you already committed it. So let's make a actor there and save it, right? And then let's say a bad commit <laughs> and then commit to man. Okay. Now there is uh, two scenarios. One one scenario is that you haven't pushed to origin yet. If that's the case. Uh, you can actually go uh, to that bad commit. You can do undo commit. Okay, that will actually go back here. I can see now that commit is undone, and then you can then discard the changes, and then you're back to before. So now back here you can see now that's gone again. Or you can undo it. Okay. All right. Now if you have made the change. And then back here, let's see. Did I save save it? So I have the another new blueprint, right? And we can say, okay, another bad commit, and then commit to man. Another scenario is that you have a bad commit, but you somehow already push it to the origin. <laughs> So the problem here is that this history is already there on the remote server and could already be pulled down by others as well, right? In that case, then it will be a, a problem if you actually just undo, right? Uh, and actually, that's already gone. You cannot do that anymore because it's, it's been preventing you from even doing that stupid thing. <laughs> so that's good then. Uh, what do we do then? Well, you have to actually do the revert change in commit. What's it saying that it's not going to be deleting that history because other people already have that history. Instead, uh, you can actually say revert change in commit. Okay, this is going to create another history that basically reverts uh, the previous history. The previous history added this thing, and this one just reverses that. So now you can see now it's gone again. And then because that's just the new history, right, and you can still push it because it's basically telling the server to delete it on their end with a new history instead of deleting the previous history. So long story short, it's, all, it's always safer to do a revert instead of a undo. Okay. All right. Cool. So um, another thing that you probably want to do sometimes is that you want to check out what's going on in the previous state. So you can actually go there and take a look. So we can actually go all the way back to the initial commit. Right click, and there is a uh, create branch from commit. Okay, what's going on here is going to make a new branch. I'm going to say this is checkout beginning and create branch. And then you guess what? We're back to the very beginning uh, on this particular branch. If we go to repository and then let me actually close the editor because everything is actually gone <laughs> and then show it in explorer, you can see now. We have no nothing. Right? We just we just have this empty. Uh, is this the one? We don't have the Unreal project anymore. I think those are not tracked at the at that time. So, yeah. So we're back to the very beginning here. Okay, and then if we wanted to, then go from here. We can do some more things there, and then we can even merge back uh, if we wanted to. And then, uh, if I go back here to the main branch, I can still switch back to what we have before. I'm gonna leave the changes on 
check out the beginning. I don't need that. Okay, and you can see we're back to here. So we, you can check out any branch with a new commit, a new branch. Check out any commit you had before or history you had before with a new branch, right? So you can always go back and take a look. Okay, and you can even go from there and do some experimental things. Normally we didn't we do not need to go back too much. One of the things we may need to go back is some files we deleted before. We know that we it's still there in one of the commits. We can check out there, right? And then we can go to the folders and copy it out, and then we roll back to the beginning to the to the current state again, and we just copy that file back over. So that's one of the possible scenarios we need to do that. Okay, and then we can. Also, just go grab multiple ones, and then there is a squash three commit, which will make them one commit, right? And then you can you can undo uh, or revert changes when you need to. Yeah, um, I think that's the some of the important operations you need to do. Um, but most of the times, if you're doing things uh, in the normal way, we shouldn't be have to do all these <laughs> things. Right, make sure that you always work on a different branch so that even something broken, you can throw out that branch. Your man will be safe. So always, always have your branch before you move on something. Right. If you have done something already, don't worry. When you create a new branch, that's gonna ask you to bring the new changes to the new branch. So don't worry about that. Uh you'll be just fine. Okay. Uh and yeah, that will be the general workflow for GitHub. If I forget anything, I will fill them in right when they're needed. Something that's not clear, let me know. Uh, maybe we can update the videos. Uh, I'm not very familiar with this desktop version, to be honest. <laughs> uh, but I use the command prompt more than the uh, this desktop version. There's some interesting things about it. Okay. Um, so yeah, I guess it's it's worth also mentioning how to do things in the. Uh, in the command prompt. Okay, so let's say that we, because it's actually easier sometimes if you don't want it to open another program. <laughs> okay, so let's say that you added a new material there, saved it. Okay, and what you can do is you can just say cmd. And then uh, you can say git status. You can see now it's going to show you what's the difference and tell you, hey, there's a new material there. And you can just say git add dash all to add them and git commit dash m uh, added a new material. And then git push and it just push it over. So you can see how those commands are uh, those commands are actually uh, pretty similar to what we did here in the console. Okay. And then you can also say git log will give you all the logs, right? And git log dash dash one line to show uh, logs as one line, right? If you wanted to go back through one of the histories, or if I want to revert that, right? You can just say git revert, and then you copy that and put it in here. Now revert that change. And then, oh, that's right. Uh, I should say no comment. Otherwise, I have to go to that editor, which is really nasty. But it's reverted there now. Okay. Uh, so yeah, and that's how command prompt is uh, does it. I recommend you guys to try to learn the command prompt because this one has more powerful stuff. Like the large file system is just not something we can do with the desktop version. There, it's not doing that. Okay, <laughs> we have to do that in the command prompt. Okay, and we we can even just go back. If I wanted to just go back here right away, right? What I can do is uh, get revert from the head all the way to the next. I don't know how many six. That will revert the last six command altogether. I don't want to do that, but <laughs> there's a possibility there. So there's so many uh, things you can do with the console command uh, compared to the uh, software version. But uh, if you're just wanting to do the click and drag method, please do so. Right, as artists, I think that's that might be easier. 
All right, I think that's it. I'm not gonna take too much time. So that's it for this entire tutorial series. Uh, and let me know again if there's any anything you still need to know how to do it. We can have further additional videos. Okay, see you guys.